On this day, December 6th, 1966, a crucial issue was raised about the safety of the Apollo missions, one that would challenge the very design of the spacecraft. Apollo's lunar module and command service module were meant to work together during missions, but a major obstacle was identified. MSC Director of Flight Crew Operations, Donald K. Slayton, pointed out to ASPO manager Joseph F. Shea that the concept of a rescue operation between the LM and CSM was simply impossible. Slayton explained that in zero gravity, a crew member would have no way to stabilize themselves to move from the LM's front hatch to the CSM side hatch. There were no tether points or restraint systems to help the astronaut maneuver safely. Without these systems, there was no way to open the hatch and safely complete a crew rescue. And without proper design and training, this could pose an unnecessary risk during a mission. Slayton also raised concerns about the Apollo inner hatch, heavy and difficult to handle. The fear was that it could damage vital spacecraft components or disrupt the pressure seals. To resolve this, more spacecraft changes, extensive training hardware and additional zero-gravity testing were needed to safely conduct extravehicular crew rescue between the lunar module and the command module. Until these issues were addressed, Slayton emphasized that any manned LM to CSM operations would carry unnecessary risks. This was a pivotal moment in Apollo history, highlighting the complexity of human spaceflight and the safety measures that would have to be perfected for future missions to succeed. For more space history, don't forget to subscribe.